Hi, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a mirror image in Word. So I'm going to insert an image, go to insert, pictures, and I'm going to use stock images that come with the software. I'm just going to type plants, and I'm going to select this image here and click insert. When you insert your image, often you can't move it around, so all you need to do is just right click, go down to wrap text, and click in front of text. Now I can move it anywhere in my document. Now mirror image can mean several things, so I'll show you all the different techniques. So first of all, I'm just going to make a mirror image left to right. I'm just going to copy and paste this image. So you can use the usual technique, which is to the home page. Make sure your image is selected. Go to copy, click off the image, go to paste. But I often find the quickest way to do it is to select your image. Let's just select this image, hit the Alt or Option key, wait till your cursor changes, click and drag. Perfect. Now in order to change this round, this is a really simple technique, all you need to do is grab the left or right square in the middle here, click on it, drag it across and drag it back out and you have a mirror image. Now you'll say well they may not be exactly the same size, well that's a really easy way to correct it. Go to the original image, go to picture format, along to the end here and you'll see width and height. So let's go to width. 7.39, just select it all, press copy, command or control C, go to the other image, go back up to picture format, along to width, select the value and just command or control V to paste and then just press enter. Now you can now see that the height has changed, so all we're going to do is go back to this image here, go to the height, click on it, command or control C, go back to your other image, go back over, but importantly, if this is checked, it's going to keep the aspect ratio you had when you transformed it. So uncheck this box here, select the height, press Command or Control V, and just press Enter. You can check the box again, because now they're perfectly the same size. You can see they're the same across and the same height-wise. So that's the first way that you can create a mirror image. The second way, let's just copy and paste this. And just move these up a second. Is to copy and paste again. Click away, click back on this image, simply grab this rotation circle at the top here and then rotate all the way around. And then you can create that mirror image there. Now that's not going to fit on the page. So all I'm going to do is to select them both by hitting my command or control key down and selecting them both. And then if I just move and resize them, you can see they'll resize together. Click away. Let's just move this one up. Oh, let's just click on this one. Let's just move that across. And you can see, once again, you have a perfect mirror image. Now, if you're trying to create a reflection, that's slightly different. So let's select this image here, hit the Alt key to copy it. And once this is selected, go up to picture format, go along to this format pane icon here, and then you'll get this menu here. Let's just close all this down. You'll get this menu here, it says format picture. You've got several different options at the top, including the paint pot, which is the one you may land on. If you go to this one here, which says effects, and then you go to reflection, click on the drop down. If you go to this presets here and click on the drop down, you'll see that you have a variety of different options and these are all the different reflections that you can select from. And the only difference is really the distance between the original photograph and the reflection itself. So let's just select this one here. And as you can see, it has created a reflection at the bottom. Now you can fully customize this reflection. So make sure this image is still selected. And now you've got your reflection below the presets is transparency, size, blur and distance. So you can see you've got these sliders here so we can make this reflection more or less transparent. 
We can increase and decrease the size so we can reveal almost all of the image or less of the image. We can also blur it. Again, entirely up to you. And also we can choose the distance that that shadow or reflection is away from the original image. So you can obviously fully customize that if you want to. So there are three different techniques there for creating a mirror image. I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please subscribe and have a great day.